I'm Mel Antuna Hewitt. I am a bookbinder and book artist based in Spokane Valley, Washington. And the book that I submitted and that was accepted into the book is Art, Volume 10, Transformation, is my piece entitled Be Healed. In April of 2019, I had a mental breakdown that sent me to the emergency room. My depression had reached a terrifying blackness and I was having anxiety and panic attacks multiple times on a daily basis. Very few people knew about my breakdown, not because I was ashamed, but because talking about it hurt. And on some days, talking about it brought the terror and anxiety and panic back. Um, I have always been open about my mental health. Um, awareness is important to me, but this was hard. At the time that I was spiraling down to my breakdown, I had been reading in the New Testament. The week of my breakdown, I was in the Gospel of Matthew with the woman who pushed herself through the crowd to get close enough to touch the hem of Christ's robe so that she would be healed of an illness that she had been living with for over a decade. And she touched, and she was healed, she was made whole. I was so jealous, envious of her, and mad to, to have that. That's all I wanted, to touch and be made whole. To have my depression and anxiety taken away, why, why couldn't I have that just like that? Why couldn't I have that? And so I thought about it thought about what a chronic decades-long illness, especially a mental illness, is like nowadays. And so I created my piece, Be Healed. Just you, 264 million way, here, now, 0, 2020. Date, today. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, substituted for hem of garment. Take daily for the rest of your life. Expiration date, infinity. Nine refills, Dr. Matthew. Twelve, Faith Junction, Testament, New, 13712. One, six, one, eight, one, two, five, five, one, eight, one. Oval White Tablet, Side One, It's. Side two, okay. Taking this drug may make you feel like you're less of a person for not being able to handle your feelings on your own and that you don't have enough faith and trust in God. 
If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole, perhaps not for you in this life, but for definitely in the hereafter. Until then, there's this. be healed. The definition of heal is to be made whole, to have the broken parts repaired, the, the missing parts filled. It's been hard for me to accept that I can't be a functioning being without medication, that the darkness and terror will always be at the back of my mind, but it's been three years and I'm still here and I'm better. Um, I may not be able to be made whole by the grazing of a garment um, and certainly not for lack of faith, but I can be made whole by the next best thing. And I find that this piece was my personal transformation in that in my 37 years of upbringing as a, as a Christian, where you're taught that faith can fix and heal and mend and rectify everything, that we still live in a physical world and that there are things physically that are just there and that even sometimes how do i say this that even sometimes it just has to be and not because of any necessarily thing that you have to learn or trial that you have to go through. It's just part of living in a physical world, having a physical body, having chemicals that course through it and make things happen or things not happen. It's just the world that we live in. And as much as I would love to not have to be on medication in order to have a, a, I guess, normal functioning brain, that that's just how it is and that's okay. And so I guess that's the transformation that making this piece helped me go through, that it's not that it does not make me less of a person, less of a faithful person, less of a whole person to have to be on a medicine that keeps me healthy.